The libraries of Essex County, New Jersey, serve a population diverse in background, ethnicity, economic status, and education. With the assistance of an American Dream Starts at Your Library grant, in a new initiative, three Essex County libraries, Bloomfield, Montclair, and South Orange, have established a partnership with the Literacy Volunteers of America to provide publicity and space for volunteer training, conversation groups, and individual and small group tutoring in order to provide literacy assistance to all Essex County residents. With the American Dream Start at Your Library funds, we were able to add much more uh, to the ESL materials that we had before. So we started purchasing the sets for the teachers and students alike. We did buy some GDs, we did buy some playaways, which are very easy to take along. The, the whole uh, material is in one MP3 player. We got some DVDs, some CD-ROMs, so anything that may be helpful for, for people to use it. It gets a very big use in-house. We have different tutoring sessions taking place here, and you know, people use them a lot, and they're happy to, to have them. It sort of made our life easier. We didn't have the funds before to, to purchase more materials. We were excited about the opportunity because South Orange is just an incredibly, well, it's a wonderful place to work. Right. We love it because the community is so diverse. So we have people of all kinds of backgrounds, and that's cultural, ethnic, economic, backgrounds um, and we have you know investigated all the different areas of the town and really tried to do outreach in places where it made sense for a library to connect with different populations. Lindita and I went over to Columbia High School and reached out to all the they have a very robust uh, ESL program over at, at our local high school and we went over after we received the grant to tell everybody about what was being offered at the library. We wanted it to be one-on-one. -on -one. We could have just sent the flyers over and said, could you please hand these out? But we really wanted to make it personal. We really wanted to talk to everybody in each class. So we did. We spent two evenings there, I think, explaining and inviting people to come to the library. We have a combined school district, which is another interesting part about South Orange, that we have um, Seton Hall University in South Orange, we share a regular public school district with the neighboring town, Maplewood, so we do a lot of partnerships as well with Maplewood Library, and we certainly share um, publicity and services back and forth, and as a matter of fact, we set it up so that any um, student who lives from, you know, pre-K to uh, grade 12, who lives in either town, automatically has a student card that works at both libraries. So we can reach all the students of, you know, the neighboring town as well. It has helped many people. We see little success stories, and uh, uh, one of them being the gentleman who was about to lose his job uh, just because he couldn't prove that he was trying to learn English and was not uh, doing very well with it, so we got in touch with each other till made possible that uh, he saved the job. So since we started introduced the American Dream in, in the community, we had a big turnout in uh, people uh, trying to be tutors to offer their services to the library. And uh, so far, we had three sessions, uh, tutoring sessions, which uh, uh, with 20 to 30 people, and each of them takes uh, about four. Uh, full day training days for them to be able to tutor a student. So I'm a tutor, I'm a volunteer tutor for uh, Literacy Volunteers of America in our county here. And uh, they put me together with the student. Hmm. Actually, I'm trained as an ESL teacher. I have a master's degree in that, and I have. Uh, probably 50 years experience because uh, I started out actually in New Jersey after I got my master's degree here at Seton Hall. Um, but before that I was teaching English in Africa for seven years in Somalia. So uh, that was my favorite job in my whole life. 
Now that I'm retired, no longer in a regular classroom, uh, I was looking for people who I know are in this area and need English. So that's why I took the training to work with LBA. And I'm very happy to work with Anna. She's my first tutee. <laughs> I am from Argentina. I came here a year and a half ago. And my goal is to improve my English. So I was asking where I can find a tutor or some classes. And I came to the library and they told me about this program. So I met Lydia and it's been really <laughs> we have a, a lot of fun. helpful, yeah. It's been really helpful for me to improve my my English. Well, I I came here because uh, I want to to learn English mm -hmm. and also to travel. So I've been traveling all around from Chicago to Miami, all the. East Coast. Mm -hmm. I have friends from different countries. I like to know it about different cultures. So uh, here I met friends from Polonia, Spain, Mexico, France, Ireland. Mm -hmm. So that was my my goal, and I did it. <laughs> my entire family is English was shaky, but we were going to school, so we started learning English pretty quickly. But for my mom, it was a lot harder uh, and she like didn't know what to do and then we found out about this program uh, she actually went through it she had a great tutor which helped her out not only in learning English but also like getting the basic idea of the culture of living in the US because um, you know like you don't realize but even grocery shopping is completely different here than it would be in uh, Pakistan which is where we moved from so um, having that tutor was amazing. She actually finished the program, she graduated, she has her certificate still. <laughs> um, yeah, so here then I, mean, I started working at the library because my mom would come here for tutoring and then we just spent so much time at the library. So the library itself serves such a huge purpose uh, with the ALA program, uh, having a space and everything because I mean, being immigrants, it's not like we can go to someone's house and get tutored because it's just too weird. You don't know anyone. <laughs> so the library was great. One of the things that I've been extremely involved with is the Mango Languages program that the library purchased. It's a great tool for um, people to learn different languages, whether you know English and you want to explore new languages or if you know some other language and you want to learn English. It allows you to do both. It's a great program. I personally used it and I used it with languages I know myself that aren't English to see how like how well it works and actually it's pretty amazing uh, for the quality is pretty good and it's very user friendly which is what I love about it. Well, and the ability to add in mango languages was a really nice thing too because if you do have the person who doesn't have the time or the comfort level or whatever to work directly with a, a tutor or even come to a group at first, the, the fact that we've been able to do demonstrations of, you know, okay, with your library card you could just go online and sort of break the ice that way or go back and add on to what you've learned um, working with a tutor for doing the demos. It's brilliant that they have pirate as a language in there because it makes everybody laugh and feel comfortable and it's the perfect demonstrator one because even if you are not an English speaker and you don't know, you scurvy dog, you know, it still <laughs> sounds funny. <laughs> <laughs> it's much better than, you know, somebody trying to do a, a language and feeling uncomfortable. Conversation groups get great dynamics between people feeling encouraged and, and becoming more comfortable with, you know, what they perceive as their awkwardness with, with uh, speaking or reading or whatever because they're in a bunch of other people who understand exactly what they're going through, even if it's a question of a different language, but they still have that, that common bond. And also the networking part that right. comes with it. They uh, meet other people who are right. in the same boat. They uh, learn about job uh, opportunities. They, uh, they uh, share that they may need help with computers, applying for a job, filling applications. So 
uh, pretty much we are a one-stop shop for all of these kinds of services. So for us at South Orange, like any other public library, we're always trying to balance uh, resources, the incredible talents of the staff, and to be able to deliver what we consider key services. So being able to get a grant with, you know, a million thanks to Lindita for, <laughs> for all the work she did, but to ALA and to Dollar General made a huge difference. Even though we were splitting it out between three libraries, that was a really good thing because building partnerships for us is very important. Um, but really having some resources to dedicate to this and, and having that ability to generate extra publicity for it and really reach out to the community, having made that commitment to do it, um, the idea of it as much as the money of it, well, money part of it was nice, but, <laughs> but also just the fact that there is a program that supports um, literacy and, and this, this being able to speak to read and to write is, is so many levels of literacy, which is important to us. And also I would like to say that uh, it has been incredible experience working with uh, the people behind behind the American Dream, the support, the help, the trainings that they have offered, and uh, it has been a great experience. It has been wonderful.